Hello everyone and welcome to the Concerned Kids Puppet Playhouse where we sing and dance all day long. I am Dove and that's Mr. Douglas and we have some puppet pals, some puppet pals with us too. We just want to sing and dance and play with you. So let's go. So let's go and warm our bodies up and get ready for the day. Hi everyone and welcome to the Concerned Kids Puppet Playhouse with Mr. Douglas and Friends. My name is Dub and that's my friend Mr. Douglas. Hi friends, my name is Mr. Douglas and welcome to TCK's Puppet Playhouse. Today is Superhero Friends Day, and our theme is Anti-Bully Awareness. We're happy that you're here to share your time with us and our puppet friends. Dub, thank you for that amazing song. It made me feel super. Everyone, in honor of Superhero Friends Day, I am wearing a cape and a mask that I created to myself. And if I could have any superpower, I would choose the power to fly. So I could help loved ones all across the world. Hi, super friend, Christine. How are you feeling today? Oh, hi, Mr. Douglas. Hi, Dub. And hi to all of our friends out there. I'm feeling stupendous. I'm so excited to be here to celebrate Superhero Friends Day. And I'm very happy to say our friend Jason will also be joining in the fun a little bit later. I'm also wearing a mask and a cape. I don't know if you can see it, it says, boom. Hmm, and if I could have any superpower, I would choose the power to Freeze time. That way, whenever anyone is having a bad day, I could freeze time and try to change the situation to make their day even better. Christine, with a thoughtful superpower. Today, I'm feeling great. I'm also wearing a mask and a cape, and my superpower would be to cast a spell that would make people use nice words only. If bullies can't use hurtful words, then no one will ever have to have hurt feelings ever again. My powers would especially address online bullying and hateful words. I would turn every mean word to next. That's incredible. It's really fun to make up superpowers and to imagine all of the super things we could do with our superpowers. I think it's also important to realize that we all have real life superpowers. We do? Like what? Well, like using our words and not our hands, especially when it comes to handling a situation where bullying is taking place. This could stop the bullying and sometimes it could stop it from happening ever again. That sounds like pretty powerful to me. Me too. Our words can be very powerful. That's why we have to be careful with how we use them, especially when we're playing and chatting online. We have to be mindful of our comments and what we're posting. You never know how it will make a person feel. That's right, Christine. We need to put ourselves in the other person's shoes and remember there are real people with real feelings on the other side of the computer screen. Well said, Dove. I can't wait to talk some more about our real life superpowers and how I can be an ally for my community. Speaking of my community, hello to all of our friends at Doc Braces. How are all of you feeling today? If you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Go ahead and tell us in the comments. And speaking of super, we want to thank all of you for being here and thank Doc Braces for partnering with the Concerned Kids 
for their gift matching program. If you visit theconcernkids.com slash dog braces today, they will match every donation a dollar for a dollar. That means double the donations. And all of that money will go towards helping us continue to share our puppetry programs with underserved communities in Toronto and the surrounding areas. So please give generously so you can help kids like me and my friend Jason. Christine, thank you for that smashing information. Today is going to be an explosion of informative intel that will give you a list of mindful superpowers that you could use in your everyday situations. But before we move on to our fantastic super adventure, I could really use a super powered warm up. Well, you're in luck, Mr. Douglas, because I have the perfect warm up to get you flying. Today, we're going to get you warmed up to fly. First, you got to make sure you don't have anything near you that you can bump into. Find a nice space that's big enough to put your arms out like this. And if you're sitting, you can still do this exercise. Now, we're going to do some arm twists. Just like this. Make sure that your feet are hip width apart not too far apart and not too close together and that your arms are straight. This is a really good warm up because it warms up your upper body. Now we're going to do some shoulder and arm rolls. So first we're going to go backwards and you can feel it all in your shoulder muscles. And now we're going to go forwards. This is going to get us ready to fly in no time. And now we're going to stretch out our obliques. It's the muscle right in the side of your stomach. Like this. And then we take it to the other side and we stretch it out like that. Remember to take deep breaths. Good job, everyone. Oh, Dub, that exercise has heightened all of my senses. I feel so energized and ready to zoom into action. <laughs> Me too. I feel like I could leap in a single bound. Well, my dear comrades, I need to fly out of here to complete a special top secret surprise craft in honor of Superhero Friends Day. I will be back in a flash. Okay, bye, Mr. Douglas. We'll see you soon. Mr. Douglas has a special top secret surprise? Oh, I can't wait. Me neither. Creativity is one of Mr. Douglas's superpowers for sure. It sure is. And I love using my imagination to make up superpowers for myself, especially when I'm dealing with my bullying situations. What type of bullying situations? Well, sometimes I get teased for being a little different, especially when I'm online, just because I'm the only one in my class with ASD. What's ASD? ASD stands for Autism Spectrum Disorder. For me, it means that sometimes I have trouble in social situations because I don't always understand what people mean when they say stuff. I also have trouble reading social cues, so people don't always understand my reactions if they don't know me. They just think I'm being weird. The spectrum part of ASD just means that there are many different ways that someone with autism might express themselves. It's different for everyone. Wow, thank you for sharing that with us, Christine. I'm sorry to hear that you have real life bullying issues because of your ASD. That can be really hard to deal with, especially when the online world can spread information at supersonic speed. That's true. Well, not to worry, Dove. I am strong and resilient. 
And with the help of some of my real life superheroes, like my parents and teachers, I feel empowered to handle any situation. It sounds like you have some experience that will be great to share with all of our friends about protecting ourselves and our community. I know the best way to protect ourselves online is to only interact with people we know. And if we ever have an issue with someone, we need to report it to a trusted adult right away. That's right, Dove. We need to be mindful of our actions and take responsibility for what we post and type. Even if you think it's private, we have to remember that whatever we put online is there forever. Exactly. And like you said, it's great to have super adult influences in our lives that empower us to use our brains to make wiser choices. Brains, brains, brains! Did somebody say brains? Jason, where did you come from? You scared me. It must be my supersonic powers of silence. With my speed of light, I can sneak into any situation undetected. I got this helmet of armor to protect my great brains. I got this bellowing force field pouch to protect my body. And I got these knee pads of steel to protect my limbs. Bullies beware, bullies be gone. Well, I'm very happy to see you, Jason. But, um, is that a spaghetti strainer on your head? Uh, no, Christine. I said it's a helmet of armor. I'm gonna start wearing this for my real life bully situations. Oh no, Jason, you're dealing with bullying too? Well, I think Christine is the best super friend to help you with your bullying situation. I'm going to disappear for a bit to give you, super friends, some time to chat. Okay, bye, Dove. We'll see you soon. Bye, Dove. Bye. So, Jason, let's get back to this, um, outfit, I guess? <sighs> well, I love using my imagination for, you know, for fun, but in real life bully situations, I need real protection, especially when it comes to that mean old Robbie Jenkins. Jason, freeze. Are you saying that you're thinking about wearing that spaghetti strainer, that pillow, and those knee pads to school for a real bullying situation? Well, yeah. <sighs> okay, Jason, can you just tell me what's going on? Well, my personal safety has been threatened. Robbie Jenkins has been harassing me all school year. And when we started staying at home, he found a way to find me and bother me online through social media. He calls me horrible names and he threatens to beat me up. I'm really scared all the time. I don't know what to do. And I feel like I can't tell anybody because Robbie said if I do, he'll really hurt me. I, why is he even picking on me anyway? I didn't do anything to him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jason. I mean, there's lots of reasons why someone bullies someone else that we may not understand, but it, it doesn't make it right. I mean, sometimes bullies look for easy targets, or, or kids that are alone, or kids they think won't fight back. Uh, Christine, are, are you saying, like, I should fight back? Oh, no, Jason, no. When a kid's being teased or threatened, it's a problem that needs to be solved, and you can't problem solve with your fists. Violence never makes a bad situation better. So... Well, what can I do? Well, um, bullies like to have an audience. So if there's a fight or a kid's getting picked on online or in person, you don't want to be part of the crowd who just stands around watching or ignoring what's happening. By not helping the person being bullied, 
you're being a bystander. You want to be an upstander. Uh, an upstander? Right, an upstander. That's someone who gets involved when they see someone being bullied and does something to try and help. But, 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 but Christine, if I get involved, won't that bully start picking on me too? Well, getting involved doesn't always mean confronting the bully. Sometimes it can mean getting help for the person being picked on or helping them get out of there. Oh, oh, so you mean like uh, invite that kid to come play with me instead? Yeah, that's a great way to help someone out of a bad situation. But every situation is different. Uh, how am I supposed to know, like, well, the best way to help? First, you have to look at what's going on. And then you have to trust your instincts. Uh, wait, what stinks? Uh, no, hmm. Jason. Jason, what are you doing? Jason, what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to find out what stinks around here. Oh, no, Jason, I'm talking about your instincts. Your instincts are that little voice inside your head that tells you something is not quite right. Or sometimes it's a feeling in the pit of your stomach that lets you know you might be in danger. Your instincts help you remember what's right and what's wrong. Hmm, then, okay then, so what do I do if my instinct tells me something is wrong? Well, then you have to take action. But, but, but hold on, I mean, what if it isn't safe? I mean, what if there's a kid getting beat up or something? Well, there are lots of times when you might need an adult's help, and that's okay. Violence is one of them. If the bully is violent, or there's a weapon like a rock, or a stick, or a knife, you need to get out of that situation and get an adult right away. Okay, right. So, uh, if there is violence, or if there is a weapon, or if the little boy's inside, my instinct tells me the situation is much too big for me to solve by myself, I need to find an adult and tattle on that bully as soon as possible. But no, 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 not tattle, Jason. Report. If someone has a problem they can't solve on their own, then we need to report it to an adult who can help. Okay, well, wow, Christine, you certainly know a lot about bully situations. Maybe I should get some advice from you about my bully situation with that Robbie Jenkins. Wait a minute, Jason, I have an idea. I'm going to be your bully buster life coach and we're going to do something called role playing so that we can solve the problem you're having with Robbie Jenkins. Uh, well, actually, Christine, I don't know now. Hey, why don't we get some help from our super friends out there? Can everyone let us know with a thumbs up or a thumbs down emoji if what Jason does is effective to help him stop getting picked on. Um, Christine, I think I changed my mind. Oh, come on, Jason, you're gonna be great. Okay, just sit up straight. Good, good, make eye contact. Oh, a bit too close, a little too close. Just, there you go. Yeah, you could just look at us with your eyes. And talk in a strong, confident voice. Um, okay, night. good, good start, good start. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's just try it, here we go. I'm going to pretend to be that mean old Robbie Jenkins. Ready? <clears throat> whoa, 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 yeah, that's it, Jason Robinson. You go running home to mama, you big baby boo, woo, woo! Jason? You okay? Christine, did you have to be so good at it? You're less than Robbie Jenkins! Oh, oh, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jason. Okay, it was just a practice round, okay? Uh, practice? Yeah, let's try again. Uh, I won't be so scary this time. You can do oh. this. Okay, okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay, here we go. Oh, Jason, Bob, no. 
your chicken. Buk, 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 buk. Um, Robbie, uh, I was thinking that. No. <laughs> Robbie, um, I was thinking maybe you don't want to pick up me because I'm a little bit smaller for my age and I just don't really appreciate it. Oh, okay, okay. How was that, everyone? Let's see with a thumbs up emoji or a thumbs down emoji. Okay, okay, so we're getting a bit of a mix. So let's try again. Come on, Jason, I know you can do this. Let's try again. Try, try to be okay. confident this time, okay? Okay. Ready? Okay. okay. Oh, you're a chicken. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. I said so. Stop. Okay, everyone, how was that? Let's see some thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> We're getting some laughs. And you know, using humor can be a great way to calm down a scary situation. But what's another way you can protect yourself? Okay, let's give it one more try. You ready, Jason? Here we go. Okay. Wah, wah, Jason, you're a baby. Boo hoo, wah, wah, wah. Blah, blah, blah. Robbie, Robbie, that will be enough. Now, I do not appreciate the way you are speaking to me, and I refuse to let it happen anymore. Now, if you would like to talk to me about whatever is bothering you, then I'm here for you. But I'm not going to let you talk to me like that at all. Wow. Well, everyone. How was that? There they are. Look at all those thumbs up. Jason, what a great job. Oh, I knew you could do it. See, role playing's helpful and fun. Well, thanks, Christine. You're a wonderful Bully Buster life coach. And thanks to all of our friends out there, all of our super friends. Oh, thanks for all your help, everyone. Ooh, well, I'm going to have to use my Bully Buster life coach superpowers to help other kids. Because as long as bullies think it's okay to pick on other kids, they'll just keep doing it. Hey, um, I want to ask all of our super friends out there um, what your thoughts are on how to protect yourself in a bully situation. Um, and, 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 and what real life powers would you use? Ooh, yes. To all of our super friends out there, please make a comment in the feed and let us know what your real life superpowers would be and how you would use them in a real life bullying situation. Christine, I wanna thank you for your super advice and also for being a super friend by listening and helping me with my problems. Now that I have some new tools to handle Robbie Jenkins and any other situations I might encounter, I'm gonna get all of this stuff off. Ugh. Ugh. Besides, my dad's making spaghetti for dinner, and I think he's going to need that strainer for later. <laughs> so, um, goodbye to all of my super friends, and bye, Christine. Thank you again for all your help. This has been incredible. Oh, bye, Jason. I'm so happy I could help. Stay safe. Goodbye to all my super friends out there. Be safe. At least beware. At least be gone. Hey, super friends. Now it's time for my top secret in honor of Superhero Friends Day crafts for all to enjoy. Today we are making superhero sock puppets. Enjoy! <laughs>
thank you for sharing that craft with us, Mr. Douglas. It was super creative. Oh, and speaking of super, I want to send a super thanks to Doc Braces for their gift matching program. Don't forget to visit our website to make a donation and Doc Braces will double your gift. Also, make sure you check out our virtual summer camp experiences and use the promo code DOCBRACES to save 10%. Thanks, Christine, Dove, and all of our super friends out there for joining us for Superhero Friends Day and our theme, Anti-Bully Awareness. I hope you'll join us next week for Pajama Day, and our theme is friendship. Dove, my friend, my super friend, would you like to take us out with your good goodbye song? I'd love to, Mr. Douglas. Thanks for joining us. It was so nice to see you today, where we sang and danced all day long. I am Doug, and that's Mr. Douglas, and we are saying goodbye, saying goodbye to you all. Our next show is next week, and the theme pajama day. So goodbye, and we'll see you next week for pajama day. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye.